Hello everybody, Ministorm here, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, the Horse Lord Mega Campaign. In the last episode, France, our ally, was at war with the HRE, specifically Saxony, uh, but they weren't doing so well. Uh, we had to wait until our truces expired uh, with uh, these guys here, so that we could declare war on them while France was at war with the HRE. Uh, so that we could kind of take advantage of that. And uh, we did get the war declared. Uh, France somehow got out of their war. I don't know if it just ended in a white piece or something like that, but um, it did. But we are now working our way through the various HRE members. Um, Pisa is being a bit of a pain in the butt. Um... So I don't think that they are willing to peace out. Or did? No, they're still at war. What we wanted from them is we wanted war reparations, but they're not willing to give us war reparations yet. So we will have to get some more war score, which we are working on doing. I've got to review where we're sending troops. We're sending troops into piece of territory. Um, we're also sending troops over here to um, Zagreb because Zagreb has their own troops marching through my territory just kind of sieging stuff, which is a bit of an annoyance, but really isn't consequential to the war as a whole. Um, because once we siege their capital, we'll force them out of the war, and all of this occupied territory will flip, and uh, we won't have to worry about it anymore. And um, I think we did win at least one good battle with the Pisa army. We may have to win another one. But we'll have to see how things uh, progress. So let's go ahead and pause it and let's see what happens here. And the Pisa army just disappeared. Well, I probably moved into uh, unknown territory. Either that or they're in Shattered Retreat. No, they're just kind of marching off to who knows where. Okay, so this is occupied. Land movement blocked by a hostile fort. Oh, because this got taken? Who's occupying this? Ongoing oppression and exploitation of the minority population in one of our provinces has fully reached its boiling point. The citizens of the province are in up in arms against our rule. Let's try to negotiate. We can't really deal with any rebels right now. Yeah. Um, they can march around and siege all of this like undefended territory as much as they want. Uh, they are going to have to take the forts if they want to do anything. Oh boy, my army here got hit. Uh, they're going to lose that battle, almost certainly. Yep. <sighs> Let's see if Pisa will get out of here. We, we need to just get these guys out of here. They will war reparations. Will they give me ducats? They will give me ducats. Alright, fine. We're done. Perfect. Alright, who else do we need to deal with? Uh, these guys, it looks like.
You're retreating to a very odd location. Alright, these guys are exiled. They're going to need to head back. Now we can march in there. They will sue for peace. They won't give me war reparations because we're not the one occupying their territory. Which is a slight annoyance. Vaster Gotland. No. 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 Well, you know what? I think we're just going to piece these guys out, even without anything, um, without war reparations. If they can just give me some money. No, they won't even give me one ducat. Okay, fine. Done. Why do we still have land occupied all by Vastergotland? Oh, we have, uh... Rebels. Mecklenburg Separatists? Is that what that, uh, those are? Alright, but we're at 99%, so we should be able to full annex here. Um... I want all your land. I also want all your money. There we go. Perfect. Cord up. Okay, yep, everybody's heading back home. We'll have to split these armies up once they have arrived. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, decommission our forts. There we go. Now, one thing I did want to do here is I want to get another explorer. And I want to see if you guys can circumnavigate the globe again. Give it a shot. And speaking of stuff, did we want to spend Diplo power? Let me, let me look at our tech again. Need to refresh my memory. No. I mean, we do want to spend it, but you know, we're, we're holding off waiting for admin to come up. Um, so, we should be able to... Spend some Diplo, spend some military. There we go, printing press is now present. So, if we go to our screen, yep, it should now be spreading. And that means that we will hopefully get that, be able to be embraced eventually. Because we're getting a tech penalty of 36%. Uh, let's see, institution spread. I mean, just having that one province, because that is so much dev, is giving us 6.9% of our development is in that one province. I 
might wish to throw some... Throw some of this around a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see, expected to be present 1597, so that's what, four years? These are non accepted. See if we can change those cultures. All right. High naval attrition. Can you get Somewhere that does not have very high naval attrition. I mean, you're moving pretty good. Hopefully they can get somewhere that's within range of my supply ships. They may have made it, because this is area that I can actually explore. Oh, we lost two ships. Nope, didn't make it. Almost made it. But not quite enough. We need a little bit more range. All right, we gotta get those ships back. All right, you guys should probably actually get back to a port. Shipyard, a dock? I guess you can build a dock. Sure, why not? Well, this is a three dev. Okay, let's see if we can't throw a little bit of uh, a little bit of points over there. I don't want to spend any uh, admin power. It's got a natural harbor. We kind of want that to be built up a little bit. Okay, we are back after that crash. Oh, uh, uh, hopefully that won't be happening much more, but, you know, as we get uh, countries that are still broken in a save file doing things that cause the crashes, we will still be having them. Um, so, it is what it is. But it doesn't look like that we actually got knocked too far back, which is good. We should have that development we spent over there. We should have... No, we didn't actually spend anything over there. And Kiev is having all kinds of uh, rebel issues. 
I mean, they they are my allies. I could, they're at war with Pisa. Yeah, we have a truce. I mean, I could send in my military to deal with those rebels, but um, we're just going to kind of observe for now. Merchants of the better sort are complaining how the government's insistence on favoring the aristocracy is hurting their interests. Uh, they lose 10 loyalty. It's increased plutocracy. Trade efficiency plus 5%. Cavalry cost plus 10%. Merchant guilds gain 10 loyalty. Yeah, yeah we can try to help. I mean, we shouldn't be buying any troops um, anytime soon, really. I don't think. I mean, because we're at ground force limit, right? And, um... Yep, yep, we get that every time we fix the save file. Alright, a royal marriage of Mongolia has ended. We would like to get that back, if possible. Religion converted. Uh, let's see. Royal marriage? Yes. Alright, there are two of our three ships that we lost in the attempt to circumnavigate the globe. Byzantium, ended of internal conflicts. Mongolia has declared war on the Nazarenes. Again. They have not attempted to drag us into this. Which is well and good. Alright, there's our three ships. Let's get them back out of the Azores. Oh, we have an available colonist. And we have no more uh, provinces to the north to colonize. So, and who's this? Mecklenburg. Mecklenburg. Got a colonist out there. Is this France? France. Claim. Okay, so we lost a claim there. So be it. Let's see, you got all kinds of reformed and stuff uh, going on over here. Protestantism. It's a big old mess on the religious front in Europe. Uh, maybe we should hit Mecklenburg. Actually, what I should be doing, I forget to do this, is drill 
our armies that have commanders. Alright, more cores. Provincial unrest. Okay. Our air is now well connected. Advisor cost minus 20%. Okay. Yeah, primarily I'm going to want to hit Mecklenburg. So this area here, we want to get the rest of Af Viborg here. And we're going to want to get these guys. And this island. Well, that's part of Af Viborg. I have to remember that that's the case. Make sure I grab that. But we're going to have to wait for truces to expire with uh, everybody. So it looks like 1603, I think, is uh, when we're going to be with no more truces. So that's probably when we can go ahead and start looking into expanding again. Alright, we got another self-sustaining colony. Great. Culture conversions were successful. Um... Let's get another colonist out there. Oh, here we go again. All right, back from the second crash. That's two in a single episode after having not had one for a while, so... Hopefully that will be it. Uh, nope, national decision. Yeah, we can build lots of stuff. I guess we could throw some marketplaces around, because why not? I don't want to spend too much money doing that. That should be fine. Let's see. Peace of those Emperor Triumphant. The war religion and the Empire has ended. Total victory for the Emperor and the Imperial Parliament as convened in a diet to proclaim Catholicism. The sole confessional faith of the Holy Roman Empire, electors who follow a different confession will be stripped of their privileges, and the Emperor is given broad authority to enforce Catholic unity within the Empire. Okay. Ah. We have to resend that guy back out there. Oh. We already had a guy's going, so we need to send the guy there. And there's those culture conversions. Yeah, so we did get knocked backwards a little bit. Oh well. Okay, Greater Monopoly's expired. It may be worth throwing around some money to increase our land force limit. Get another army up and running. 
rebel uprisings. Swedish separatists. Independence for Sweden. I think that's up here. Uh, let's see if I can't get another army over there. They got a long walk ahead of them. Oh, Mongolia's calling us to arms. We'll accept your call to arms. Oh, and you're going to try to march into my territory. Well, that's... That's not going to go well for you, I don't think. Yeah, we have to march an army over there, but that's fine. Though it looks like that uh, Mongolia caught them. But we'll march some guys over there just in case. But it looks like Mongolia has this entire thing well in hand. And um, we'll offer our mor moral support, if nothing else. Yes, as I was saying, I think it might be worth building regimental camps. Don't want to spend too much more than that. Uh, reformed is spreading. Admiral has left. All right, you guys can merge. Merge up. And when are we gonna get this new tech? Seven hundred and thirteen power. Great advisor died. Land force limit modifier, national manpower modifier. I guess I'll go with fort defense. I don't want to spend too much on these guys, but you know, they do give us points, but they're very expensive. Circulation of hostile publications. Uh, and printing was a novelty. It first attracted those who would create codices as a great, as great works of art or philanthropists who wanted to spread the knowledge of the classics in a more accessible format. Soon, however, others joined their ranks, less scrupulous men who would make a living slandering others. Ever since printing started to mature as a business, uh, presses all over Europe have been available for demagogues to spin their webs of lies. Piles of pamphlets lie ready to be distributed to anyone who will believe them as we speak. In some part of our own lands, this otherwise so promising technology has been put to use as a means to slander our emperor and undermine the state. This cannot be tolerated. Okay. It's time for censorship to come. Do we do state censorship? Local unrest minus two, institution spread minus five percent. 
Lose 25% more for printing press. We cannot control the free word. Local unrest plus 6%. Until 1612. That's not great. You know what? We'll, we'll let it go. Because I want that printing press support. Because it is starting to spread quite a bit. And, um... A royal marriage with Moldavia has ended. A revolt has occurred. 6,000 rebels in Moldavia. Oh, pieces over here? Okay. Twenty-two... Twenty-two thousand troops. Uh, get them down there. Re-establish our royal marriage. I don't think I need to send all 66,000 troops. We'll send some guys over that way. guys are going to irritate me. Alright. You head that way. We're going to see if we can't uh, flank them from both sides. I'm actually going to speed things up because we're, we're toward the end of the episode here. And I want my armies in position. Looks like they bugged out. All right. Infiltration of Poland. Our military professionalism has made our retired deserting officers very attractive. All right, we've had this before. My spy master reports that we have managed to get a number of agents into service to the Polish crown. Excellent. All right, we wiped out those rebels. Good. That's a fairly sizable uh, Nazarene army, but it's uh, getting out of town. All right. Can I flip this um, occupation to Mongolia? There we go. So I don't necessarily care to occupy any of this. But I will march over there. Alright, but we are at the end of the episode here. So we'll go ahead and stop here. We'll uh, see if we can't finish helping out the Mongolians. When we come back, it looks like Mecklenburg has some rebel issues. That may be useful. I don't know. Again, any any war we fight, we're gonna have, we're gonna involve Pisa again. We're gonna involve a whole bunch of people. But we may be able to drag the French into it. We'll have to see. All right, but for now, we'll go ahead. We'll end the episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.